But if you want to use V-Ray Cloud, which is a render service from V-Ray, which I've been using recently and it's fantastic, it's a real game changer for me. It means that I can send things to the cloud and just keep working and I get notified when the render is complete. So if you're new to V-Ray Cloud, you can click the cloud button here and you'll probably get brought to this page and you can try it for free and you can get started with 23 credits. So just sign in and hit get started. And then once you've signed up, you'll go to uh, cloud.chaos.com and just make sure you download the client app. So you can download it here, install that, and then back in 3ds Max, when you hit this cloud, you'll get submit to Chaos Cloud Rendering and you can run Analyze and you'll see there's no errors. If you do get any errors, then check out the V-Ray Cloud documentation and they've got some really good help files on there. So just to confirm, our output size is correct. We've got the render channels and we've got a path in there. So we can hit submit. And then the cloud will analyze the scene. This is your project name. So I'm going to rename this rendering bedroom or just rendering for now. Um, resolution match scene. So as is, as is bucket. And this is all great. So we're going to submit it and then it's going to upload. And I've tried quite a few render farms and this uploads pretty quickly and then we can go to view job and this is going to start rendering straight away so after a few minutes here we've waited like four minutes you'll start to see the image rendering and I mean you can sit and watch this if you like but I'm going to switch off the recording now and I'm going to jump back when we finish rendering